Hi, this is a video for the Brother Charger 11, where it was having a problem with the um, type bar not seating correctly on the on the um, on the rest pad. And this is my Charger 11. I just got it um, about a week ago. And he was having the same exact issue where multiple keys were not seating correctly on the uh, rest pad here. And I'll go into what I did specifically for to, to fix the issue on mine. I don't want to say that this is the ideal way to do it because I am new to typewriters and typewriter repair, but I will, uh, you know, say what worked and hopefully get some feedback on what to do, what not to do. But um, I wanted to show kind of what I did because it did fix the problem for me. Now, ideally, you want to completely open up the machine, take off the panels, um, take off the base, and get to the the linkages um, is where I would look first. Uh, now from in my case I had multiple keys but the problem the main problem key was the letter N here and when I got it that key was about a millimeter maybe two millimeters off of the rest pad and uh, there are a couple things that you can do one of the things that I started to do, which I, I don't recommend unless um, your, your uh, keys are only maybe like a millimeter off. So if they're, if they're very, very slightly off, one thing that you can do is um, to kind of lift on, on the actual frame here and lift up. And that will kind of um, give the um, type slugs a little bit more of a curve so that they come in closer together. And that's something that I did with mine. And uh, that kind of just helped everything kind of come together and kind of cup the letters, uh, cup the uh, type slugs here. But what I did for the specifically for the N um, was I would depress the key on the keyboard, depress the key, and um, I'm holding the camera, but what you would do is you would hold that that um, type slug up with your other hand. And I'm going to pause the camera and just tape it in place, and then I'll be back. So right now I have the type slug for the letter N being held up with some tape. And I wanted to show the um, linkage down there. And if I kind of press on the N on the keyboard, you'll see the linkage that it's connected to. And what I did was um, I used to have a hook tool um, but I was not able to find it, so I had to make my own. I grabbed this, um, it's kind of like a pick style, um, little handheld pick screwdriver size, and I bent it to kind of create a hook. But um, what I did was I took this, this end, and I would go down underneath the type slugs. and this one here on the right is the one that's uh, linked to the the N key and I got I got down here with the hook and right around this area here kind of in between in between this joint and this joint right here I grabbed onto it with a hook and I just Hold up straight straight up towards the ceiling and 
it'll be different for you depending on where your linkage is bent. Um, but that's what I did to fix the problem. And you'll have to figure out where you think the bend is occurring. And uh, just pull straight up. And when you do, the key should be sitting flush. It's sitting flush. Usually I was able to tap it with my finger and it was bouncing. Um, but that's what I did. Um, again, this is probably not the best way to do it, but it did fix the issue for me. Um, the only reason I did it this way was because um, I did not want to mess with the actual type slugs, which are angled very specifically, and each letter is associated with a specific angle of type slug, or, or key bar, I should say, key bar, and um, much harder to replace and to fix, and I don't have the proper tools to do that. So what I did was I was messing with the linkages here, which is just regular wire, and that's what I did. I took a hook tool, and you know, if 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 you have the chance, you should you you should do it the right way and open it up. Um, it doesn't take that many screws. It's really easy to get to. Um, but I figured I figured out the solution while I was actually um, exploring and trying to figure out how the mechanisms worked, and that's the only reason why. I did it the way that I did. If I had known, I would have taken it apart and um, taken the linkage off and uh, tried to fix the bend uh, correctly. But that's my brother, Charger 11, and I just wanted to share that with you. And, you know, um, if, if others have feedback on the correct way to do it, that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to share real quick, and um, I hope that helps. I'm going to get this lid on, because I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand while I'm holding the camera, but uh, I hope that helps, and have a good night.